Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So today I want to try a mission that I actually I don't think I've ever tried before. I'm going to just just double check here managing our tasks. I'm going to move a centurion up. And we're going to get these guys repaired. So let's do that real quick because there's a mission that I don't think I've seen before. Uh, let's throw a party. Yay, we're going to need the plus two morale for this mission. Okay, so... Now that we have everything repaired, I'm uh, going to double check the barracks once again for our mech warriors. I don't think we have quite enough experience yet, almost enough. Uh, Hickory, we're working on gunnery. Yes, Pylon, we got got enough for gunnery, so we're going to take gunnery. Increases gunnery. Confirm that. Uh, Raider, still working on stuff for her. For yeah, and we're waiting for gunnery for him too, so we're good. So let's go to the command center. Take contracts here. And... There's this Protect the Mechs mission. Now, I don't think I've ever played a Protect the Mechs mission before. It's an escort. I never really read this when we were blowing through the missions yesterday. Um, so, this is basically a lance of our heaviest mechs in poor repair after a long patrol. We have credible intelligence that ethnic pirates will be attempting to exploit this vulnerability. We have no other significant units available in the area, so we need to drop in run interference while we extract our mechs to repair, repair our repair facility. So, it is actually a group of mechs we got to extract. So we're going to take this contract. I don't think I've ever played this. We're going to take 5 of 21 salvage. We still got lots of money for the end of the month. So I'm hoping to get really good salvage out of this. We're going to accept. One and a half skulls. I don't know if we will or not, but we might. And we're going to use our standard lance and deploy. Okay, four mix down. Looks like it's the standard escort mission here. Okay, so with this map, if I remember correctly, you move up, extract the mechs, or extract whatever's here. I guess in this case it'll be mechs, and they move up here to the extraction point. There's a chance for enemies here, a chance for enemies here. Once we've um, initiated, initiate, initialized the mechs, there's a chance to get enemies across here, and then once they get down here, there's another group of enemies that will show up here. So I'm not really sure what we're up against this time, but we're going to make sure we clear out everyone first, if there is anybody. Yes, Commander. Okay, pile on, let's do your job. Let's get up here on the road. All in ass. And it does not look like we have any initial mechs, which is great. Yeah. What can I do you for? Hey, let's see what this baby can do. So I'm guessing we're going to have two lances at the yep. end. So I want to check the after we're done with this mission, I'm going to want to go and check the um, uh, mercenary board again because I want to see if we can pick up some pilots. I was going to do that last episode, but we ended up with that really weird sound going on. So I get that every once in a while. And it's always just that one sound. Sometimes it's on the uh, mission with the. Um, the uh, big heavy bore with the that's like the mining operation. If you're zoomed in when the mission ends and you're hearing that sound, it just stays. And in this case, I think it was the radiation that we were hearing. I don't know, like these radiation patches. So, yeah, yeah I had to end the end the episode because that just drives me crazy. Got it. No shooting, just running. Okay, getting up here. Now we want to position ourselves before we activate the mechs. Okay, so we're going to reserve again. We're going to get Pylon up front. Once again, he's the main target for the enemy. So let's get him up here on the road. No shooting, just running. Okay. Going to bring Hickory up. She is the second mech. Copy that. Cold Metal is the third mech. He needs to get up in front of... He needs to get up in front of uh, Hickory first. Let's get recoil. Go. It's going to sit right here. To We're going to activate those guys in a second here. Okay, pylon. Let's reserve. Holding for tactical I want you up here. And brace. Hickory. Yeah. I think you're fine here. Going to cover that flank. 
cold metal. Sprint up here. And recoil, let's get this sucker started. Here we go. Okay, so it is max. So there's our initial contacts. Javelin. What is he doing? Hunchback, Phoenix Hawk, Phoenix Hawk. They don't have very much armor, do they? Yeah, enough to take a few hits. Okay. So they've started back farther. We're going to reserve. Um, should we? No. Let's get recall sprinting up here. We want to get these guys moving forward. Okay, 30 tenor. Um, yeah. Oh, we can engage this guy. Let's do that. Heading out. Once again, we're going to mostly turn our left side because our right side is the uh, MRM 10s. I'm going to fire on him. I'm taking the shot. Okay, we hit him. Twenty tonner, really. Ready for orders. So, we have multi-target. I think we do. Yes, we do. So we're gonna do this. Confirmed. So that's a locust. What do we got here? Jager mech. There's some. There's a mech we want to get some parts out of, and a javelin. Got a few javelin parts too. Let's multi-target. We're gonna shoot him. And we're going to shoot him. We'll shoot the bonus medium laser to A. And I think everything else to B. Let's fire. Multiple targets confirmed. Okay, good. We hit him. Wow, weird sound. It's the same as we're kind of getting the kind of getting on the jungle map, so. Okay, can we get eyes on? Can't. I was hoping to get eyes on this uh, locust here. Oh. Really lousy chance to hit. Let's do this. I know it's not the ideal spot to sit. I'm gonna multi target. I'm gonna fire on this guy. And I'm gonna fire on him. And we're going to turn this... Ah, let's leave it on. Doesn't really matter. We don't have... They're not generating much heat anyway. Okay, nice. That looked like a leg hit to me. This is a sound problem that we're getting on um, the jungle map in uh, my um, Battletech Flashpoint series, the 900. This is a specific jungle map. I keep getting the same sound. So it looks like these mechs are going to fire. Now, are those Goss rifles or are those... It's a pirate version, so they're pirate Gosses. Okay, these guys are getting on the road to move. They are going to fire. That's weird. Said they wouldn't fire. Okay, let's see what they do here. Javelin first. These guys might just ignore us and start firing at the vehicles. So we need to be very wary of that. Yep. Um, the spider is like super evasive. But I think we need to keep engaging them. Don't like being pulled away from the rest of the mechs like this, but it he's got two spike wrecking balls too, so. Wow, that's like weird ass. Yeah, 
It's going to take these guys forever to get where they're going. Okay, the goal is to kill the Javelin this turn. This spider's got to die too. It's like... It's getting too close. Uh, recoil. Can we play the back game with this guy? Doesn't look like we can. I don't know if we can stop this guy. Got a lot of armor. And a lot of evasion. Okay. What's this locust doing? I'm thinking we could give this javelin a good pasting, but I'm really thinking that probably need to engage this spider. Those wrecking balls can do a lot of damage. I've been on the receiving end of those things. So let's see if we can give this guy a good pasting. Nope. Okay, pylon. Much as we can turn, eh? Won't really matter where we go, I don't think. Uh, then let's play the odds. Yeah, two pirate cost rifles. Let's get in here. I copy. Still got five chevrons of evasion. What kind of armor has this javelin got in the back? 20, 25, 20. That's a little better. Let's fire on the javelin. Firing. Full compliment on enemy. Wow, only two hits too, eh? Okay. That spider with the wrecking ball is like scaring the crap out of me now. He can one shot these guys. Okay, at least we get to go before him. Oh crap. The spider's going next. He's got tons of back armor. Let's fire into his back anyway. Okay, a few hits anyway. We need to send our, um, damn it. What do you need? We need to send our, um, Phoenix Hawk against that, uh, Jagermech back there. Sorry, I'm just really quiet. I'm really trying to focus on what I need to do to maximize. Badass. Is that a knockdown? It's not. To maximize my damage on these guys, and minimize this guy's going to come in and attack anyway. Yep. He's not. Okay, so Centurion's gonna try and finish off that spider. 
He's been penetrated in the back. CT. So we're going to do that first. Can I get a can? Right there. Won't be the best chance to hit, but we're going to take it. Yeah. Oh, got him. Okay, so Pylon's got to go against this guy. We got to get on him now. Uh, we're going to move right in on him. Not too worried about this guy meleeing because he's got really low melee damage. Gonna fire everything on this guy's side. Okay, pretty good hits. Obviously not enough to do enough damage to take an arm yet, but give us a turn or so. At least they're attempting to help out anyway. That hunchback's gonna die. This guy goes this turn too. Okay, well at least his sensors are impaired. It's unsteady. Okay, good. He's shooting against my guys. Okay, so now we need to engage the javelin up here. He's decided he wants to do a lot of damage to us, so we need to get some engagement going on him. Um, that's the locust. CT back is almost gone. Left torso. So let's get around. God, I could kill this locust maybe if we get lucky. Um, yeah. Can you get behind him? Not quite. But let's get down here. You have better chances on the um, locust. So we're going to hold off on you. Recoil. Let's get up here. Let's go on this javelin. And we'll fire everything. Ah, some good solid hits there. Prometheus Flame. Oh, nice shooting, Tex. Finally moving forward, eh? Okay, so now we can move Hickory. Hopefully we can finish up this Locust. Yep. With the second mech down, I'm going to feel a lot better. All right, full speed. It's really that um, Jager mech that I'm really worried about. So let's fire in the back of this guy. Right, right torso, engine destroyed, he's gone. Perfect. So now the Centurion is going straight for the Jager mech. Okay, Hunchback, I uh, can't take much damage. I think Cold Metal definitely needs to move first. 27, a little better right here, so we're going to go there. I know we're going to be kind of blocking those guys behind me, but let's do this. Fire everything on them. It's hoping to add some instability, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Okay, so if these guys keep shooting on him. Okay, couple hits. Let's see if we can take this one side. What's up, boss? Let's just move. right here beside him Roger. and fire everything into his side that looked really good there's the left torso and arm gone excellent Reporting critical hit. I was hoping to maximize salvage off that guy but I don't think it's gonna happen now my biggest concern though is um, once we reach the end there if there's another lance which I'm thinking there's probably gonna be 
we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. If they decide to focus fire on one of one of their one of our guys, one of the um, people we're protecting, they're going to kill him right away. Especially that hunchback. Okay, so recoil. Let's see if we can finish up this javelin. Can we get down to the water here? We can't, but we can get here. That'll work. Fire everything into the backside. Nice. I love this guy's sound. Here you go, moron. He's got big cojones. Nice. Keep blinking him, guys. Okay, Hickory. What do you need? We're only gonna walk. Uh, we'll be in the woods. It's fine. I'm gonna fire everything on this guy. Attacking from position. Should be able to make him unstable. Excellent. So now we can maximize our chance to hit this guy. Phoenix Hawk. Love the look of these guys. Nice, knocked him down. Plus two pilot wounds. Um, I'm gonna sprint it because I need to get up here. Because once these guys are down, we gotta be up protecting them. Up here, further along the road. We can try for a headshot, fire everything. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Unsettled, huh? This guy's gonna die. Keep pulling that trigger, buddy. Standing by. Okay, so we need to sprint. Where can we get to that we can shoot this guy? Let's get to here. Aye, aye. I need to be over here, because if the reinforcements come, there's gonna be right here, so... Um, what have we got left in the CT? Let's try for another headshot. Copy that. Ah. Inflicted some heavy damage. Oh, he's panicking anyway. This guy's gonna kill him though, I bet you. Nope. Could have though. Well, maybe, maybe not. He's gonna try a melee, hey? Really? Thanks for coming out, buddy. Okay, so let's get Hickory first, because I think you're blocking recoil. So let's get up to here. Understood. We're gonna save our missiles, I think. Don't know what kind of opposition we're going to have coming up, but I want to save these guys. We're going to fire everything into this guy's side. Okay, there goes that. Nice. Finally get to move up, buddy. Okay, so let's get recoil. Block these guys on the road if we can a little bit. So as soon as they move, first guy moves into here, we're going to get reinforcements. We have lots of ability for called shots. It's kind of cheating because I know where they're going to be coming from. Commander. But it's not really cheating because if you think about it, it's like. You know, our sensors would have picked them up already. Uh, let's get... we still got another whole turn, I think, before someone gets in here. So let's get a good turn of evasion up here. We'll get another good turn coming back. Okay, recoil. Let's get you up to here. I don't know if they're going to get in the uh, the hex this turn. Ok, 
Okay, Hickory. I want to get you into the trees, I think. So let's get you here. Gonna turn our torso. Going full throttle. Want to make maximum use of these MRMs at distance. So Phoenix Hawk might make it in there this turn. Be bad if he does. No, just misses. Okay, cool. Pylon, let's get you back. To like right here, I think. Double time. Let's go. Should be close to max evasion. Yeah, pretty pretty good there. H Chevron's is pretty darn good. He might make it in. No, I don't think so. No. Okay, good. Cold metal. Sprint up here. I think they show up right across here. That hunchback's got to make his way up still. It's, it's bad that he's going to be the last guy across the line. Okay, we're going to reserve. We got good evasion. There's no point in us moving any faster than what we are. Or moving at all. For that matter. Yeah, sounds good. Good idea. All right, here we go. Hold this position, Enemy man. detected. The yep. Will be on its way soon. Here they come. A couple commandos, urban mech. Oh my god, nice shot. This is the guy we got to kill. He's got the AC-20, I bet. There's two hunchbacks or one? What's this guy? Irby? Irby. They don't get to go, though, because their turn's already over. Come on, you guys. Give him some pasting here. Okay, I want to see if I can max salvage off this urban mech, or this um, hunchback. I've got a bunch of hunchback parts already. So, let's start... I want to yeah. see, let's finish this commando off. Can I have to move from here? I don't have to move. 84% chance to hit. Just going to fire straight out. Should be able to finish this guy up, I think. Looks like... No? Almost. Okay. Uh, a recoil. Let's start off this hunchback now. He's got full armor. <sighs> um, this guy's got the AC-10. Hunchback's got the AC-20. Alright. It's multi-target. Gonna shoot this guy. Gonna shoot this guy. We're gonna put uh, the two original small lasers, these small lasers, on A. Everything else to B. Actually, you know what? Let's put two medium lasers to A. Put these smalls on B. There's a better chance to hit. Let's fire. Target. That should do it. Yep. Okay, good. I don't have to worry about him now. So he's engaged. Chances are he won't fire on anybody. So let's get cold metal. Um, oh, God. Getting in this close against someone with an AC-20. I'm just really nervous here. Everything on this urban mech. Wrong side, but good enough. And let's get you up in here. Heading out. I know we need to kill the hunchback, but if we can get rid of these guys really fast, that's probably a better thing. And fire everything on this guy. At least they might want them to get them to target us. There's his left side gone. A Knocked down. So he's pushed back a turn. Okay, not much time left before these guys take off. So we're going to use Hickory to push that Hunchback back a turn. Nice shooting. 
Thank you for tagging him before you guys leave. Oh, head hit too. Damn it. Yeah, we're at close range, so I'm kind of expecting that. Yep. Hickory, let's do an offensive push on this guy. I'm gonna try for a headshot. Just want to push him back a turn more than anything, I think. All right, that's fine. Uh, okay. Recoil, let's get you. Um, Like this. Now. This guy doesn't got much left in the center. Let's multi target. And these two, and these two on B, and the three medium lasers to A. Target locked. Okay, so that guy's gone. That was lucky, by the way. I didn't think that was going to happen. But you got a greater chance at the CT than more than anything, so. Okay, so. Yes, Commander. We don't want that AC20 firing. Sorry, but we gotta do this. We gotta get rid of this guy. There's no choice there. He needed to go. And Pylon. Can we get on this guy as we can? Let's get on his AC side and unload everything into that AC, hopefully. He's gone. Goodbye. Tango down. Well, that was a quick wrap up for that mission. The objective is secured, Commander. Yes. See you guys later. Well, that was fun. Certainly a different, a different feel than a regular uh, escort mission. mission. Okay, a little bit of experience. Not much, but a little bit. Doesn't look like we took any uh, serious damage anywhere. Just a little bit of armor damage. And looks like there's a lot of salvage pieces in here. Not much for the Agamek. We got five pieces of salvage. Plus a bunch of other stuff. So, ooh, heavy pirate machine gun. I want to take these machine gun light arrays. For sure. Spike wrecking balls. They're worth like a million. Endo steel, ferrofibrous, ultralight gyro. What else do we got down here? Anything? Double heat sinks. Heavy ferro. We need double heat sinks though. Spiked helmet, spiked fist. So what do we really want? I mean, double heat sinks would be nice, but they're not required at the moment. Uh, fusion core for money. Pharaoh is nice. This would, these guys would be nice for our next lance of mechs, like those two for sure. And there's really nothing else up here I think I'd want. Um, we're gonna need fusion cores. And we're definitely going to need one for the, um, going to need a core for the Irby. So let's take this one for now. And let's do that, I think. That's a good selection. Now we got a lot of parts here. We'll see, let's see what we get. Let's get some spider parts, please. So one, two commando parts. Oh, we got the hunchback part. Excellent. Got the Jagermack part. Good. Javelin, one locust part, one, two, three, we got a spider now. Nice. Okay, cool. So we're just short one mech for our second lance. And we got some nice stuff here to start. Get, oh, we got a wrecking ball too. Some nice start stuff here to start getting it working. So I'm hoping it's the pirate spider we get. Let's find out. That mech you wanted is back online. Oh, yes. So there's a melee mech for us. Wrecking balls to a spider. No one will ever know. But are they effective? They're really effective. Sure does. Okay, cool. And what, oh, we got a commit. So we have a full lance now. That's awesome. 
and almost no no damage and repairs. So that was an excellent mission. That was awesome. Okay, cool. Let's accept this. So now we have to worry a few in lighter engines, I think. So the next, I think, episode, we'll try and take a couple of lower ranked missions um, and try and get some engines in, in play. Doesn't really matter which way we do this. Um, yeah, that'll be that'll be great. I'm so looking forward to that. Okay, so let's look at the hiring hall because we did want to see if we can get some more mech pilots here. Um, so this guy, a little too much. Entry level corporate, merchant discount shop items. What can I do for you? Technical school. Um, it's kind of nice, but not required at the moment. Order. Havoc, what's this guy? Independent trader, discounted by shop items, and he's pretty cheap. So we'll keep Havoc in mind for a second. Hogweed, 15-6, nice. Technical school, Steiner Commoner. Mercantile dropship, discounted by shop items. Improvement, this person, why, we can't not hire this person. All right, Hogweed, you're on. Uh, what else do we got here? Keystone. Ready for order. Swing 18, I'm ready troll, for listed more experience, guts is up, uh, price is a little high, so I think maybe yeah. Havoc will, will hire. I don't know if these if these actual are accumulative. Be nice if they were. New mech warriors okay, so we got a couple new mech warriors now, so let's go, let's go into the barracks. Let's have a look at our mech warriors. Still need to get one more. Um, so Havoc, let's get him a uniform. Um, if I remember correctly, now it's been a while, yeah, so we want the, uh, Standing by. I remember which one now. So we're going to do this, and this, and this, I believe, is that what we're doing? This one? I'll find out in a second here. Yeah, that's the one we're doing. Okay, cool. Alright, Hogweed. So we're doing this, and the second one. And camera, cool. Yes, Commander. Everyone's got their uniform. Nice. So now we just need one more pilot, and we'll get that probably at the next um, next planet we go to. Let's repair these real quick for the next episode, and I want to have a look at the store again. Okay, let's have a quick look in the store here. See if there's anything new. We don't have a lot of cash, but uh, that's okay. We have some stuff we can end up selling eventually. LRM 15 plus, plus one LRM damage. We've already got one of these guys in. Ultra AC 20. That'd be nice for when we get our hunchback up and running. So they do have lighter fusion cores. We've already got a 60. These guys are really light though. Hmm, not a lot here. Okay, well, we'll leave it at that, I think, for today. Uh, so we're going to have to figure out... Let's Actually, let's go to the mech bay real quick, because we have to put our uh, fix up our mechs that we just got. So this guy... Oh, he's got lots of good stuff on him. Oh my god, let's just repair this. Pirate engine. Look at that. Walking distance, sprinting distance. Minus 10% heat generated, maximum heat, overheat threshold, minus 50% engine weight factor, six slots. There's a note etched into the main board that says, suck it, Yang. Leg spikes, look at this guy. He's already almost outfitted completely. We're going to put those wrecking balls in this guy. Spiked helmet, plus 10% melee damage. Okay, cool. So we lost a fusion core out of him. That's the one bad thing. It was a 240, so... I don't think we have a 240, but we might. Uh, we do have a 240, so we can replace the engine. It can probably go a little lighter, like a 215 even. Save a couple tons. And fill it up with heat sinks. And what else we do? We lost some patchwork, spiked wrecking ball. We have another one. Spiked fist, he didn't have two spiked fists. But we can work we can work on this guy over time. So let's get this guy repaired. Um, maybe we max out the armor first. 9.63. Let's just drop the back. 2. 
like that. Isn't that what it was? Is that what it was at? No, because we had we added some to the legs, I think. Yeah, so let's just do this. Nine days, fifty-nine thousand. So there's a melee mech. And then commando. Let's refit this guy. Guy looks like he gets his fusion core still. So that's going to save us some money. Let's repair this. So he keeps his fusion core good. A couple of lasers here. So this guy's got what? Um, Twelve laser hard points. I'm going to load this guy up with small lasers. Let's max out the armor and let's go that route for now and we'll see what it takes. We may have to take some off later on when we're repairing them, but he has a bunch of small lasers on him, some medium lasers, but we're going to just small laser this guy up, I think. We need hands. We're going to have to buy some stuff, but yeah, overall though, I'm really happy with this mission. Alright, so before the end of the month we're going to have a second lance. So that's awesome. Um, I wonder if I should bring them forward already though. We could do that. Uh, we do have two other mechs. Let's just wait. We need one more pilot anyway. And we've got to figure out how we're going to outfit these. So we've got a spider a commando. And then we've got an urban mech, which I know I, I know how I want to outfit this guy, and a panther. So the panther will be the command mech, I think. Urban mech is going to be um, fire support. And then we've got our melee mech, which is the spider, and commando, which is a close-in scout attack mech. So I think we've got a good. I think we got a good wide variety of mechs for the second lance. So it's going to be fun to see how these guys perform. And I think our main lance is performing really well right now. So that's just great. Cool. So we're set up for the next uh, episode. But until that time, if you like the episode, please drop a like because I know I really enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please please feel free to subscribe. And check out my other series going on right now on my channel. Uh, I've got another Road Tech series and another uh, Battletech Flashpoint series that are going on concurrent, congruently with this one every day. So check those out. And until next time, we'll see you all later.